the integration of various open source projects come together. I think that that's key is, is that overarching uh, architecture and, and integration of the numbers of, uh, of sort of open projects that come together. I think cloud native is, is really the, the thing that makes it at scale, right? So virtualization delivers a lot of benefit, don't, don't get me wrong there, um, but to be able to scale also to bring it into the 5G context, IoT and all these um, kind of things, and that's where cloud native really plays. I think there's a mind shift to say these new things are opportunities, they're not scary things that we have to, to deal with. Um, and it enables us to you know, reach more markets, bring new services that people haven't even thought about, and actually you know, really impact the way that you know, a next generation is going to interact with connectivity. Degree of sophistication of the tools that are needed to, to keep 5G going is, is just that much higher, and you really need to take a lot of um, what's been going on with the cloud vendors and applying it to the network. So network as a service, of course, is growing. There's like increased scalability, there's uh, increased costs that they're looking at trying to control. Part of it is how do we control some of those costs? How do we make it easy to manage the system? And so uh, the cloud native approach uh, has a series of uh, principles and methodologies that if you follow those principles and metho methodologies really helps you uh, hit that scalability, but at the same time keep your keep your costs under control. ONAP, I believe, would be a de facto network management implementation end-to-end -end for 5G mobile networks, specifically for end-to-end -end network slicing, which is probably the most important key uh, functionality of 5G. Now, even speaking of, you know, 5G core, for instance, there will be a camp in ONF, and there is already a reference implementation of 4G core, there will be also 5G core. We would like to move our development velocity from doing quarterly updates or monthly updates to getting to weekly or daily or what most enterprises do, which is dozens of times per day being able to make changes and deploy that into production. The open source really fits that role where it can actually help assist with the, both the orchestration and the management of these, um, these dynamic virtual components, as well as provide that layer of abstraction that sits on top to allow you to um, reduce the complexity in having multiple different vendors in your network.